We have just arrived to Le Mans, and Le Mans is famous for uh, ancient stone graves. There's a nice walking trail all along this cliffside, and here, there is an admission fee here. Uh, how much is the admission fee, Aru? Actually, for the foreigners, it's 20,000 discretion, but you have guitars, so that's why you pay like domestic, just 10,000 discretion. Okay. So, for both, maybe 20,000 because the children uh, don't pay. Okay, all right. So the children, uh, free. Again, like most places that we've been to that are a little bit more touristy, there are two fee structures. The, there's the international traveler's fee and the domestic traveler's fee. Because Kelly and I work in Indonesia, we hold uh, kitas. That is um, that will make us eligible for the local domestic tourist fee, which yeah. is 10,000. All right, so by the time you pay your admission, you just go on a short walk, we're already coming across things of interest that are not necessarily related to the caves. But what's going on here, Aru? Uh, this one is... Uh Families dry uh, pangi fruit to be ah. the beans of the pangi fruit. These are the beans. To be, to be pamarasan of the sauce of tomato. Oh, that, so the black sauce that you've seen in a, a number of our videos. This this is it. Yeah, all together is they are in one fam, one fruit. So you have the seeds and this the is seeds, the... seeds, oh, the yeah. skin, the yeah. skin. Ah, wow. And more, oh, so this, so it, the, go, it goes the, from the, here the, down to you here. You know, the oh, skin so dry. of the, this one, yeah? Yeah. The I see, from inside the, the skin seeds. and the seeds. And then, and then the skin uh, outside here. Go ahead, Cal. Are you were saying that they cook that kind of yeah. like the te a meat texture. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh. So that's nice, kind of cool. like a mushroom. Like a mushroom, cool. yeah. Like a mushroom, yeah. It's so hot out here, you're going to notice Kelly's uh, got the umbrella to keep forced from like frying. It's gotta be in the 80s for sure. Uh, definitely a warm one. And already across the way, you can see traditional houses. And oh, not traditional houses, but the coffin bearers for transporting the dead. That's it, so these are the traditional transports. Yeah, traditional uh, transportation, I mean, coffin bearer. Coffin burials, okay, burial across. For transporting the dead. To I the see. Family grave also in the precision. Wow. And just they are not all used scattered anymore. through the hillside. Okay. Wow. So already you can see Kelly and the kids. You're able to get right up to the rock. What would you call these? Like rock, like cavern? Stone, gra stone, stone graves. Stone graves. The stone graves. Wow. So you, you can go right up there. Yeah. And what are the names of the traditional, these are the, for the, from the funeral? Yeah, from the funeral before. Okay. And what are they called again? Uh, in Batoraja language is called Sarigan and Dubaduba. In, du in English is said Duba -Duba. coffin bear. Coffin bearers. Okay. And this is only used one time. Only one time. Okay, so one one person that yeah. was theirs. So one coffin bear for one dead person. Yeah. If the dead person came from the noble class. I see, no And it's class. not used anymore, only once. And okay. families put them there until the meats are broken. Okay, so they just eventually disintegrate, yeah, and, right. but they're left there so forever. Uh, forever until they break down. Yeah. Now, there are so many effigies up there, and these are big. How yeah. many? That, that represents noble class. Noble class. Yes. Minimum 24 buffaloes must be sacrificed. 24 if buffaloes. The dead people have effigies like them. Okay, if the effigy looks like the person, uh, yeah, the dead effigies, buffalo. the dead effigies over there normally made of jack wood, minimum 24 yeah. buffaloes. Wow. And then their face are not resembled to the dead face because of they were made by imagination. I see. And then some of the dead effigies over there, kind of up this their way. face are quite resembled to the dead face because of the picture of the dead. Okay, so newer. Yeah. would have photos yeah. and this kind of thing, okay. So the spirit is called Lemo. Lemo. Lemo, it means like a pomelo. Okay, pomelo. But it's called po Lemo, it, yeah, because of this is stone, uh, this rock mountain here, look like a pomelo. I see, I see. Yeah? Yeah, well, and, and then, then... You know, Torajan people, started making the stone grave around 17th century. 17th century. When Torajan Jeez. people had known the Iron Age. Okay. And also when Songi Patalo died around 17th century, he was nobleman who died 
around 7th century, so Toraja people started making the, the stone grave like mm. over there. And how old are these graves? Like, I mean, all uh, of these... Some of the stone graves there, they're already old. Some of them, they are not so old. But it, as I told you, that the Torajan people started making the stone grave around 17th century. Wow. When Torajan people had known the Iron Age. And would one of these, here I'll point, well, one, would one of these holes in the rocks be for one person or are there uh, multiple no. people? For in? one hole of the carpet stone grave there for one family. I see. So there's oh, yeah. one family. One family. Per yeah, Cut. for one hole. One hole, okay. So it could be lots of family members. Yeah, a lot of the in people there. inside because the interior is larger than exterior. Sure. Like a chamber or room. Okay, so although the doors look small, small back into yeah, the mountain. Yeah, yeah. Should we go down and take a closer look? Is that yeah, okay? Yes, sure. All right. So a very uh, well maintained property, and I assume that's what the entrance fee, I assume that's what the entrance fee goes for is the uh, upkeep. You guys doing okay up there? Yeah. Are you hot or are you staying cool in the shade? Staying cool. Staying wow. Ooh. Okay. Now their hands, when I look, their hands are out like yeah. this. What does the that hand represent? over there, that means that's uh, life and death. Okay. Symbol of life and death. The, for example, uh, all up in their effigies. Yeah, like they also like this. Give me offering, I bless you offering. I see. Okay, yeah, because their hands are definitely in that uh, distinct position. No, give me candies, I bless you, <laughs> but give me offering like animal sacrifice. Ah, okay. Now I see there's a whole, like, is this still being used? I mean, yeah, that's just right yeah, here. Yeah, it's, it's finished to make. But no, the dead inside because the dead is still in the house considered a sick person. Okay, so, but this will be used. It will be used. Today. As a, I mean, not today, today, but current. It will be. It will be used as a family grave later oh, after wow. doing the funeral ceremony. So the dead person will be uh, put there, in here. and then families close. So he has the a door, mm -hmm. and the door must be locked, and then it can be opened for for the next death, if the death came from the same family. I see. And so if you're interested more in the funeral happenings in Taraja, just click on the video here. It's epic and a mind-blowing experience. Just click right up there. So okay. this is great. I can't believe this is, there's, so they're still doing this practice yeah, today. Uh, families in Toraja still practice this carpet stone grief until now. And you can see, I mean, not so much from the GoPro, but just through my eyes, it goes way back in there. That's yeah, later, we can see in another village. Oh, okay. So we can actually see inside a one. Yeah. Okay. How much would something like this cost? Because this uh, looks very nice. Sometimes it can columns. be 100 or 80 million rupiah if the families will request a new stone grave. Okay. Millions of rupiah. 80 to 100 million. It depends on the size, especially in terror size of this I see. But this grave. one, I mean, this looks very uh, uh, detailed. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. There's, there's, Certainly, like uh, nice carvings within the rock, so that mm -hmm. that's gonna be more expensive, I think. So when the stone grave with the families have got deal about the contract price with the size of the stone grave, mm -hmm. the grave makers prepare the tools like chisel, hammer, sure, wow, and also bamboo leather. If the new stone grave in high position of the rock cliff, okay, so, so they higher up, up there. On the scaffolding. Simple, yeah, sculpture of the bamboo ladder like over there. Mm -hmm. So when they start, before carving the stone grave, first of all, the families must book the wall of the cliff and then they make a square sign. So it's easier for the grave makers to carve it. Okay, so when they... they will, when they have got deal about the price. So a family could say, for example, must book. They must buy a section yeah, of the rock. They must make a section there first. Okay. Who? So it's easier, it's easier for the grave makers to know and then Where to carve cut. the So who owns who owns make. the rock? Is the, the, Does the government uh, own that? Did no. he buy from the government? Or? The, 
Greek big the descendants of Songi Patalo descendants. The oh. descendants of Songi Patalo so that who died mm-hmm. who died since 17th century. Okay. Because Songi Patalo, he was nobleman, came from this village long time ago. Okay, so that bloodline yeah. owns this, yeah. if you will. Yeah. I mean, own, own might not be the right word, yeah. but they control Songi Patalo descendants. descendants. Oh, fa- fascinating. So it's in within that one bloodline. Not, not belong to the government. Okay, so if somebody dies who's not part of that bloodline, can mm. they come here, or is it just the family? Uh, only the family. Only family. Okay, so an if, outsider. If, yeah, if could not no come families here. live far away out of Toraja, and then they know that they are part of the Songi Patalo descendants, mm-hmm. or they have a right to to request a new stone grave to have a stone grave here, and then it's possible you can be buried here after the ceremony. Okay, and then the, like when we paid the entry fee uh, back here in this village, are those people related to this bloodline? Like right. the woman who and I bought the, the tickets from? Are these there, houses? They are, houses? They are, of course, they are the descendants of Songi Patalo. Okay, so, wow, fascinating. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, when the grave makers start hollowing the rock cliff to make a new stone grave by using the chisel with hammer, sometimes the grave makers take quite a long time to make it because to make the stone grave like that is really hard work. Sure. And then the grave makers have other jobs, not only as a grave makers, okay. but they are farmers, bricklayers, carpenter, even buffalo broker too. I see, I see. And so on. So would you think that it would take a year? Sometimes the grave makers take uh, six months, one year, even two years, if uh, the grave makers have other jobs. I see, okay. The interior of the stone grave yeah, the inside, the is interior. larger than exterior because it can accommodate several dead people. Right. The interior size sometimes three, four times three meters. Okay, big, very big. Yeah. Like Twelve feet. Yeah. Cubic, and then sometimes three times two meters cubic depends on the family's request and sure. capability. Sure, of course. And how many bodies would something that size? Oh uh, well, for the four times three meters cubic, it can accommodate like until twenty dead bodies. Twenty dead bodies. So that's okay. multi generational. Yeah. Just further up the trail now, we come into a whole bunch of different tombs, rock tombs on this stone. What's going on here? Are these? Uh, yes, uh, stone grave, carved stone grave here for the low class people normally. So this is the lower class, low class versus the nobles down there. Yeah, noble class. Mm-hmm. But they related is other, yeah? Came from one descendants called Songi Patalo. Okay. And then normally the, the stone grave here, yeah? Mm-hmm. They are already full of the dead people, so families close them permanently. They cannot oh, okay. be open anymore. So these are all closed off. Now I do see a couple of uh, effigies up effigies, here. Yeah, is that some of them is uh, all noble people there because of uh, they do yeah they don't have any space to make the stone reef up there. Okay, all right. So if they have the effigies, it means they're more of a nobler class, but. Typically, these are lower class. Low class, yeah. You know, some of the stone grave there, they are already old, like this oh, one. Oh, sure, they look very it's old. It's but the door is broken, and then the interior with oh. the exterior at the same size. Can I actually see because bones Because only there. the bones were put inside without coffin. I see. So these are one, these are an example of the stone cuts that are not bigger. No, they're, bigger. they're just more further deep. Yeah, yeah, further deep. Okay. Yeah, okay, but not as elaborate not, as down there. Yeah, right. Because only the bones were put inside. Okay, no, big, rope, no room for coffins. The rope, I, wrapped. Wrapped. Okay, I see. Wow. If and, the families will change the door of the stone grave there, they have to do ritual again. I see. Well, this one, like for example, there's one over here that looks... A new one. A newer door. These are all clearly very, very old. So maybe over here, 
they did another ceremony, changed out the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And they didn't have any ceremony because of new stone grave there. Oh, that's a new stone grave. It actually looks new, doesn't yeah. it? New stone grave. Right. And I see these um, placards. Placard. These are uh, something that outside say, guests would bring yeah, in honor. Bring, us, uh, bring like no offering, but say deeply condolence like a flower. I see. Similar to us giving flowers, families would bring. Uh, or not family, friends. Yeah, yeah. Family would bring friends, images. From the company, the family. Uh, okay, so from biz businesses, somewhere where they worked, yeah, right. would be donating Partner. these kind of signs. And also... And so that's a new one. I also over there, bamboo, look like a bamboo ladder. Yes. Yeah, some of them, uh, it is uh, like for coffin bear. For local people, not, not like Toraja House. Right. Oh, sure. Yeah, definitely. Safe, not like less, just, ex much less expensive. Yes. The bamboos. Bamboos. Okay. Wow. Cool. Very cool to learn about uh, the ancient customs and traditions. What separated the noble class versus the lower class? Everything from where they are buried, how they were put into the graves. Uh, yeah. Interesting. Very interesting.